is uh, my April 21st Highlander update. Sorry I didn't get one out last week. I have been working on a few other side projects. Two of them are aircraft related, so looking forward to showing you guys what I come up with there. Just not quite ready to show them yet. What I am doing now is finally getting all my avionics laid out, getting everything where it needs to go. This is my roll servo. Got it in place. It's good and solid. I still have to do the regular the rigging, the wings, so I can actually get that all sorted, but I think that's going to work out really well. I'm also waiting on quite a few parts. I've got uh, apparently a shortage of 5052 because I still haven't got the rest of my fuel lines in so I can finish that up. I just have a short run left and that's all there is on that. Did get a little bit more of the Kydex in and trying to figure out exactly how I was going to do this back here. The just aircraft avionics tray normally goes down there which is fine. But I didn't know if I want to put the cargo door in or not. I just basically gave myself good access either way. Nothing wrong with the cargo door. I like, love the idea of it. It does add a little extra weight and a little extra complexity to it. And I just don't know if I'm going to do it. So if I don't, this gives me nice access either way. So I did go all Dynon with all my avionics. And uh, I'll do a video at some point of why I chose Dynon, but I just love their products. Uh, my comm, my transponder, my ADSB. This is another, this is actually made by an individual. It's an interconnect for all the Dynon items. It makes life a little bit easier. What I'm planning on doing, since I've got both my servos back here, my comm, my transponder, my ADSB. I'll run them all to the interconnect and then I just have to run one network cable and the cable that runs to the HDX from here. So that actually gives me fewer cables going to my pod panel, which that's what I'm trying to cut down on. The pod panel is so much smaller than a regular panel, so I'm limited on space anyway. And that kind of gives me just a smaller cable bundle running forward, so I think it's the direction I'm going to go. Uh, the only other thing that I haven't decided where to go, where I'm going to put it, is my PDM. I know we talked about this before, but it's a power distribution module. This eliminates every solenoid and relay that you would normally have and converts it all to solid states. It's, uh, this one's by Hardwire Electronics with PDM25. It's got 16 inputs and uh, 25 outputs. It's got a USB port here so you can plug into it and program what amperage you want everything to do, how you want that switch to operate. Pretty neat, very lightweight. This weighs 1.6 pounds, and it cuts down on the amount of wires. You can run CAN bus through this. Uh, you can you can do analog switch. You can do digital switches. So you can you can do just about anything. But it opens up a, a lot of possibilities. But anyway, I'm most likely going to mount it somewhere in here. It makes it easy access. So this panel, that the door that's actually going to go over this, it will cover all this up. It will have a small window in here, so I can see my bell crank to do a you know, easy pre-flight inspection of it. But most likely I'll mount that in there and that'll allow me to get to it easy, get to the USB. And uh, it's, a, it's a good location for, for running all my wires from there. So it looks like the majority of my avionics are gonna go back here. My batteries and ELT will go here. Actually, a big thanks to Gary Winden. He kind of gave me the idea. He did something very similar to this for his pitch control. So this is where this will be mounted. And of course, the bell crank has a little rod that runs up there and back down. If you guys haven't seen Gary's stuff, his channel is Hooked on Utah. He's, uh, if you like hunting and fishing uh, or airplanes, he's got a little bit of all of it. So definitely worth checking out, especially if you're building an Highlander. So right now, I think that is my update for the week. Like I said, I do have a lot of cool side projects going on. Uh, just none of them are ready to show you yet. So as soon as I get that ready to go, I will present them to you. So thanks again for watching and see you next time.